Oh, it's such a massive game of football. Arsenal against Liverpool. Is it the battle for second place, Benny? Can either of these teams win the Premier League this season? I'll start with that ridiculously easy question. Uh, yeah, I think Arsenal can win it. Um, I don't think they will win it, but they're in it. Where they are, where they currently sit right now, you can't say that they've got no chance. Can they're Liverpool com- win the Premier League this uh, season? I think Liverpool will struggle. From where they are at the minute, well, Liverpool- What's the answer to the question? What? Can Liverpool win the Premier League this season? No. Okay. I mean... Listen, if they could win a couple of games on the spin, then yeah, they're back into it. But mm-hmm. they just stop playing like the Liverpool that we're used to seeing. That they used to be ruthless. Um, they got the result against Rangers, but I didn't think Rangers were very good at all. No, they weren't. But Liverpool, for whatever reason, right now seem to be kind of stuck in this in between where they, at one stage, Liverpool they were relentless, weren't they? You knew exactly what was coming. Um, like there, was, there was a time where this game coming up on Sunday, I'd be thinking, oh, Arsenal getting nothing from this game because Liverpool were just dominant home and away. Like they're at it. They're... Well, not just that. Against you, they were or have been. Exactly. As I said earlier, you've Arsenal won one of the last fourteen Premier League matches against Liverpool, and yeah. you've lost the last four. Exactly. Liverpool won the last two at the Emirates as well. No, it's not a great record. But this is and this is why when people spoke about Arsenal and where they are, I said this was the real test coming up Liverpool because mm. yes, you look at Arsenal's record against Tottenham at the Emirates is very good. Magic, I mean Arsenal's record at Old Trafford against United is awful, but Liverpool. Arsenal don't beat them home or away. So this will tell you exactly where Arsenal are mm-hmm. and how seriously you can take them. But you have to say that Arsenal could win the league because of where they are right now. But I know they could, but do you think they no, will? No, I don't think they will. I think, think Man- they will. I think Manchester City will win the league. Okay. Like, I think looking at what Manchester City have done to this point is frightening. And again, you are, you had that mm-hmm. juggernaut at the top. But Liverpool have been a bit inconsistent. The Brighton result, 3-3. 2-0 down at one stage. I mean, they had the result against Ajax, got battered by Napoli. But even Everton, 0-0. Newcastle 2-1, yeah, but the, their most dominant performance, of course, is the 9-0 against Bournemouth. But I think if Arsenal had, had a, a, a good chance of beating Liverpool, I think now's the time. Mm. You, um, you're you you're conceding goals at the moment, Arsenal. Yeah, You've gone yeah. 13 games without a clean sheet. Is that a worry? No, but I still think team, teams will cause Arsenal problems and it comes down to their finishing. But Arsenal defensively, even though they are leaking goals, still look defensively a lot better. You look at the, the performances of, of Gabriel and Saliba. I mean, Saliba has been a. We said it. We identified it at the first game of the season. We mm-hmm. were like, "Oh, wow!" Palace, oh, yeah. He looked brilliant, and he's, he's he seems to be getting better and better. Mm-hmm. Um, t- whether it be Tierney or Zinchenko, um, that plays at left back. I think it'll be Zinchenko, but they both are pushing each other for that number one starting position. Mm. You've got Ben White, who's a centre back by trade, keeping out our regular right back Tomiyasu out of the team. So defensively, Arsenal have got options. Okay, I want to talk to you about Martinelli. Before I do, have a listen to this because uh, back in 2019, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp made a, made a bold prediction about him. He's 18 years old, right? Yeah. yeah. It's really unbelievable. So young. He's a proper threat. I didn't want to put any backpack on, on his back that yeah. with the thing, but it just, I'm, I really like good football players and obviously he is a very good one. Yeah, Martinelli by the way, it's a young Brazilian. I should I think everybody should remember that name because an outstanding player. They had a lot of talent already in the last few years. I think Martinelli, everybody I, I was very early excited about him and he's, he became exactly the player I expected he will be. How good a player is it? That's some prediction, by the way, isn't it? Yeah, no, he's, he's brilliant, Martinelli. Getting better and better. Um, consistency was maybe a little bit of an issue for him, but he seems to be getting better and better, as you said. Is he better than Grealish? Uh, oh, this, this, well, 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 listen, what, what I will say to you is his output's better than Grealish's. Okay. Like, he, he scores more goals and he, he assists more. Does he start for everyone? I won't say he starts for everybody. That's just a, that's a big, bold statement. Well, I'm that. asking him he doesn't. He starts, no. He's better than Richarlison? Yeah, I'd have him over Richarlison. Okay. Like, he, not Son. Gre- he's not better than Son. No, but what I'm talking about one side or the other. Yeah. Diaz? See, that I like Diaz. Martin, again, probably gives you more goals. Mm, it's a difficult one. But the fact, it's a question... Yes, yeah, a question. I'm, I'm, a look, I think someone put in the group that he gets in any Premier League side. I'm, I don't, don't know about that, but right now for Arsenal, he's mm. playing incredibly well. Like as I said, he, he, if he can add a few more goals to his game, he's always a threat. Every time he gets the ball, he he's direct. He goes at the fullback. He tries to go past them. His decision making in the final third has got better as well. Whether he shoots, whether he crosses, but he has gelled really well with Gabriel Jesus. No surprise there, both mm. Brazilian and Saka on the other side. Mm. Them three there. Are all combining really well, and Martinelli's been a big part of that. Let me ask you: you mentioned Jesus there. He's um, he scored fifth, when when he scored he, in fifty one games. They've been unbeaten. I know, yeah. And you've won forty eight of those. Yeah. Is he your most important player to keep fit? Well, this that, well obviously that record goes back to City as well, doesn't it? Yeah, when he's like, when, when he scored, teams don't lose. Yeah, 
but that's because he's playing for one of the best exactly. teams on the planet. But, but still, you know, he's scoring goals and well, they're not losing. You, you definitely say, add in Gabriel Jesus and Zinchenko, these born winners. They've certainly changed their mentality of the dressing room. Um, even yesterday, I was at the game last night and asked Tuna up half time. Yep, cruising. Come out second half a little bit sloppy. Straight away, he puts on Gabriel Jesus. He puts on Saka. He puts on, I think Ben White was another one that came on Odegaard to change the mindset because it wasn't good enough. But yeah, he's been a big, he's been a big, big upgrade on what we've got. And that's no disrespect to Eddie and Ketia because mm-hmm. again, he scored last night. But Gabriel just offered you something completely different. Gabriel Jesus, sorry. J- just going back to Martinelli, how, what's his ceiling? How far can he go? How good a player can he be? You heard Jurgen Klopp there talking, when was it, 2019, saying mm-hmm. remember the name, which of course is synonymous with that Wayne Rooney goal yeah, against he, he, Arsenal. He can go to the very top, but we, we need to decide where, like he could play for City what, one what's day. What's the very top? How good a player can he be? Well, he could play for, he could play for a side that wins the Premier League. Okay. Like he'd be more than good enough to be in City squad. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt, squad. Yeah, exactly. without a doubt. So, but uh, he'll be looking to start week in, week out. Exactly. I, I think he could play for a side that go on to win the league, but he's at the perfect place right now. And he said he's one of the main reasons, one of them, why Arsenal currently sit, and he's only 21 still, mm. why Arsenal currently sit at the top of the table. The, the gap between the two at the moment is 11 points mm. between the two. Arsenal 40 Liverpool. would be better, though. Oh, 14 is ridiculous, isn't it? After that's, what? That's nine games? Like, you think Arsenal would have to fall off a cliff to lose them games? And Liverpool would have to win all of them. How many times have Arsenal fell off that cliff in the new year? A lot. Yeah. But, but where they are right now, they will never get a better opportunity than, well, certainly in recent times, to beat Liverpool. Are you 100% confident Arsenal will get top four this season now? Yeah, 100%. Okay. 100%. Are you your favourites for second place now? Well, again, you have to look at where Arsenal are. They sit currently top of the table and, mm-hmm. and people said they've not played anyone. We've played Man United, okay, we got beat. Played Tottenham, we beat them. Got Liverpool coming up, they beat them. This is the test, right? This is the test. Okay. This is the test. Um, who will be, I want to take so many calls on this from Liverpool and Arsenal fans. Who will be more confident going into this one, Arsenal? Arsenal, because they're at home and okay. they're playing really well. Okay. Ma- the... Martinelli against uh, Trent. Oof. Well, <laughs> that, will be yeah, that will be interesting. What will the score be? 3-1 Arsenal. Really? Okay. I said that last time, didn't I? All right. You don't think Liverpool can win the Premier League now? No. Okay, you think the only side that can catch Man City or Arsenal? Yeah. Okay. We've got so much to talk about. It's a massive game, Arsenal and Liverpool. And football fans, have your say now. Pick it's up mad, the phone. Sorry, it's mad that you're saying catch Man City when Arsenal top. It's mad, isn't it? Um, it is, man. City you, you're 100% it's, it's right to bring it? that up. You're 100% right to bring that up. Because you're saying, up. can you catch Man City? Well, Arsenal currently sit above them, but Man City's the... the just quickly, just quickly. Just, that's a very good point you make, right? And we don't even question it. And you're right no. to question me. If Haaland gets an injury, yeah. right? They're still the best team. Are they? Well, they've got Julian Alvarez. No, I know, but he's... No, but everyone he's... everyone screams that if Haaland wasn't doing what he's doing, or they didn't have no, Haaland, no. he would be the superstar. Okay, but my question is, right, my question is, we all think that Man City are going to win the league because Haaland's just ridiculous, mm-hmm. right? If he gets injured, mm-hmm. right, do you then start talking seriously about Arsenal as possible I'd still champions? Say, I'd still make City. You would? Yeah, they'd, they'd been by four instead okay. of six. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.